sheep are really wonderful creatures and they really teach us a lot about ourselves you know the bible is full of illustrations and comparisons comparing people to sheep and our needs to the needs of sheep you know the greatest need of sheep is a good shepherd someone that will care for them and love them you know there's so many needs that sheep have to be protected from dangers both inside and out dangers from wolves and coyotes bears um, large predators and even more so internal parasites worms and um, other internal problems are even more deadly to sheep than large predators and a good shepherd keeps an eye on these things sheep have a nature that is often seen as dumb or foolish because they whatever sheep is in the lead they will follow them into all kinds of trouble sheep always think the grass is greener on the other side of the fence and that gets them into trouble they eat poisonous plants and at times and and need to be nursed back to health if you can they need to be fed and watered regularly fenced in so that they're protected from predators and from um, other dangers and these and many other needs are provided by a good and loving shepherd just like we as people need a good shepherd the bible tells us that jesus is the good shepherd and he loves and cares for his sheep just as a good shepherd will call his sheep and they know his voice and come to him so jesus calls and his sheep hear his voice and they come to him we all need a good shepherd we have a nature that is foolish we're sinners the bible tells us that we've all sinned and come short of the glory of god we get ourselves into all kinds of predicaments and troubles just like sheep do and yet if we know the shepherd he lovingly brings us back to the fold to the safety he sets up safety parameters for us in his word and if we'll follow them they're for our protection and when we get side get outside of the boundaries he often has to come and find us even as a good shepherd will leave the flock to go find the one sheep that is astray so jesus goes and leaves the 90 and 9 to go find the one lost sheep Jesus, the Supreme Shepherd, is still seeking his lost sheep today. Are you one of his sheep? You can be. He's seeking you today.